Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create interesting looking star field backgrounds in Lightwave 9. So let's open up Lightwave here and we can get straight into it. Now there are several ways to do this. You could create a star sphere in Modeler then take it into Layout, or you could create um, a spray star field in Modeler and once again import it into Layout. But my personal favorite is the textured environment star field. It gives you a really interesting and deep uh, feeling star field effect. Um, but it also is very easy on the render times. So let's get started. Uh, first off, we'll just uh, get our camera into a good position here. And then head into Windows. And we'll go to Backdrop Options. And we will add a textured environment. Click the environment, then click Properties and uh, click texture. So we're going to do this in layers. We're going to have uh, two star wheel layers, one for the furthest stars, one for the nearest, bright and dark, and we'll have two uh, separate layers for fractal noise and turbulence to give it a kind of a nebula kind of feeling. First off we'll just change our existing layer here to a procedural texture and um, we're going to turn this one into a crust. Now, um, you can play around with the settings until you find something you like, but my preferred settings are as follows. Give it a white texture. Uh, coverage, I think, should be somewhere around, uh, let's say, 0 0.0005. Very small coverage, but these will be our small stars. And um, our ledge level, let's leave it around 0 0.05 or 7. Oops, messed that up. 0 0.07, let's say. And um, width could be around 0.15. And then we move down here into our uh, size. Let's make it four millimeters. I've experimented with these settings in advance, so just trying to give you the best possible results here. We'll add another layer, procedural, and we'll change the type to crust once more. And for this one, we'll use coverage 0 0.009, let's say. Uh, leverage level, uh, no, ledge level, sorry, 0 0.5. Ledge width, uh, 0.3 is fine there as well. Um, and the scaling, let's set it about 8 millimeters, just an estimated guess here. And that looks pretty much okay. So let's render this out and see what our star field looks like so far. So yeah, definitely very reasonable. Um, kind of dynamic looking, uh, random looking. That's what we're looking for so far. And uh, now we can begin to add in um, our nebula kind of effect. So add layer, procedural. And um, it doesn't appear to have done anything. Try that again. And we've got a turbulence layer here. Uh, we'll make this a fractal noise layer. And um, for texture, we'll make it a kind of a, maybe a bluish color perhaps. Somewhere around there. Uh, give it, tweak this a bit. Yeah, somewhere around there, all right, look good. And, um, Bring that down a little bit, make it a bit darker. Looks good. And we'll set the frequency to 20. The contrast, mm, that looks good around there. Small power looks fine as well. And the size is perfect too. So then we'll go and uh, add another new layer. And this is turbulence. That's fine. That's the way we want it. Um, we'll set the color of this to make it a kind of a purplish reddish, purplish reddish color. Let's just tweak that a little bit. Looks good. And now we've got to fix those opacity settings. So we'll head back to our fractal noise layer and we'll give it around 35, 30%. 35. Turbulence, we'll give this around 19 to 21 perhaps. So let's do a quick render here and see what we have. There we go. Looks reasonable. Um, we've got a bit more purple seeping in there than I would like. Just head back in here and uh, we'll bring the purple down a little bit and bring the blue up a little bit. Let's see how that looks now. So as you can see here, based on what I've just shown you, 
Um, there really is a lot to be said for the texture editing in um, Lightwave. There are many different background effects you can create with extreme ease. Um, I'm certainly going to be continuing this with more tutorials, uh, more advanced topics some later point. Um, but I just thought I would post this one now, just for all those people that have been requesting some kind of 3D tutorial for the last month. And that pretty much covers everything I wanted to discuss in this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching, uh, please subscribe if you found this useful, and I'll see you all in my next video.